What's up YouTube? I'm Mick from Mick Focus Photography. Thank you for tuning into my channel and thank you for watching uh, my videos. Today I've got a bit of a tutorial or a bit of a how-to guide on how I edited a photo from a meet that I went to recently featuring all Mustangs. Now one of the cars had a, some interesting stuff in the background that I just didn't like so I wanted to get rid of it so I'll show you how I did that. Let's jump over into Lightroom to begin with now. So now we're in Lightroom, um, here you can see we've got the original image of the vehicle. I did some basic tweaks back here, so I'll just reset them to the way that they were to begin with. This is what the car looked like originally. As you can see it's fairly washed out, so I jumped in here and I pulled the exposure down a touch. I did it minus. 0.95 just to darken it down a bit because I really didn't like that threw a bit of contrast in there just to darken things up a touch then I went down to the highlights now the highlights are so bad you can see it's all all over the place so I pulled those right down look how much we got back out of that look at the difference huge huge difference and then a lot of people don't like this but I bump the clarity up just a touch. You may not really notice the difference. And well, you can see a little bit of darkening there. Just to get things a little bit darker, I only did it just a touch, about 14 mark I think it was. Um, just enough to, to throw that back in there. So from here, I right click, edit in, Photoshop. Now this is gonna take a second, so we'll jump forward here. Now. We've got Photoshop open. As you can see here, I've already got my layers. First thing I did was hit Control J and that will duplicate my layer. I then went up to Filter and then I converted it to a, to a Smart Filter. That way, any editing I do on it is non-destructive, um, meaning that we don't destroy the original image. So that way we, we can change things if we need to. It just makes life a lot easier. As you can see, I've got the smart filters on here. So then I went into camera raw filter. If I double click on here, it'll open up camera raw. And it doesn't look like I've done too much. But what I have done, you can see I've applied these radial filters. I've applied two various radial filters. One changes the inside and the other one changes the outside. So everything outside of that has got the exposure's been darkened, I've hit contrast up, shadows have lifted, and just change a few of the settings, the saturation to make it all nice and bright. And on the inside one, I've pulled the exposure up just to lighten the car a touch. Uh, then we've hit the contrast up a bit, we've pulled the highlights right down. So you can see, you can see the difference on that. The shadows have pulled up a touch so you can see what's going on on the car. The blacks are pulled down because we want to darken off some of that. And then I've pulled the saturation up again. Now I've also done the wheels. I've pulled the exposure down because they were quite bright. As you can see I don't like that. So I've darkened them up a bit just to give them a bit more of a hit, a little bit more punch. So that was okay. And I put in a graduated filter in here just to, to darken off, as you can see, just to darken that off a touch leading up to the vehicle just to allow the vehicle to give more presence in there. So hit OK and get back into there so you can see really see the difference between the two when we jump backwards and forwards in there. Now there's a lot of things about this, this image that I do not agree with. You've got this car in the background here, you've got this light post, you've got this light post here, it's coming out of the roof. I didn't like this, this security camera or light post sticking out there. So I've done a new layer, so open up a whole new layer. Let's push this over. Oh, it's not going to need to do that. 
Okay, doesn't want to play that game. So I've started the editing out process. You can see I've clone stamped these guys out because I really didn't like them. And a couple of other things I did, normally I do them on a separate layer. But this one I've taken out the red in here, I've taken out a little bit here, shadow over here, we can see a person. I've taken out this mark here because it just looks a little bit funny there. So you can really see the difference. I could have gone nuts, but this one was just a nice clean edit. It wasn't gonna happen too much with it, just for posting on social media. Um, so that was just enough for me to do that. And now I've done a whole new layer and I've started the process in getting rid of this. So I've merged those into one layer just to keep them in one layer. And I've started the process on getting rid of this with the, the clone stamp. Uh, I actually think I used the patch tool. So that way you just draw around it Click patch tool. There we go. Do a little edit here. Oop. Sorry about that. Let's go to this. And then we draw around where we want to go. And then you move it. Normally it does a better job, but because it's trying to mix over that, it's just not going to work. Let's get rid of those. Control C to get it back. Control D gets rid of the marching ants. So that there is, is cleaned up. There's still a little bit of marks there, so I think I even went back through and tied it up a touch more. And now here is the final bit. So you can see that I have tied it up a little bit more and I've photoshopped out the car that was here and the rest of the pole. Even added in a little bit more of the rocks and you'd never ever guess that this photo was touched. It looks like it's meant to be like that. So we've gone from this through to this. Very, very simple, very easy. Uh, probably took me about 20 minutes total just to clean it all up. Nice and simple. I could have got rid of these orange things on here. These, I think it's a fire hydrant was there. Could have delved right into that, got rid of that too. Could have cleaned up some of the, the lines on here, made it look a little bit more consistent but I didn't want to go too far, it was just a meet. If it was an actual uh, paid shoot, then a different story. That's when I really get right into it. Could have even cropped out this whole background and put something else in there to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So many other things I could have done, but again, it was just a meet. I just wanted to get a nice clean image uh, to post on social media just for, for looks. And honestly, it's as simple as that. I've explained that in in what, five, six minutes now on how I've done it. If you like what you saw there, please give me a follow, give me a subscribe, hit me up with some comments, hit me up with some messages. I'm more than happy to reply. And if you need any hints and tips or you think that I've missed something that I should, should do in, in my photos, feel free to let me know because I'm always learning too. Thank you for watching once again. I'll catch you on the flip flop. Peace.